Libra. Welcome to your November 2020 reading. My name is Amy and I'm one half of the Violet Realm. I'm the mom half. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. Keep in mind this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, a big shout out to all my new subscribers. I love you guys and I'm so grateful for you. And if you have a suggestion for a reading, just leave it in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. All right, so um, Lilith is coming through my channel pretty strongly. So uh, this is a, a channeled message as well, as well as a tarot reading. I read intuitively. All right. Okay. Got to knock some of the energy out of these cards. All right. Libra, November 2020. This is a timeless reading. Uh, the intention is for November 2020, but if you find it and it resonates for you, then it's for you, okay? All right, we want this one. All right, okay. All right, overall energy for November is realization. Let me read this. Whoops. The frequency of realization supports the internal process of becoming aware of our heart-centered truth, as well as the external process of becoming our highest expression in the world. So uh, I'm feeling like there's a real transformation of self going on in November for you, Libra. Uh, I know Libra has been activated um, and many people are finding maybe their lives are not going as smoothly as they once were because the universe is making changes, right? Um, and there's a, there is a self-realization coming through. Yeah, uh, there's a cycle ending for Libra. It's been ending. It's an ongoing ending situation. And I, I think the end for many Libras will come in the beginning of uh, 2021. Okay, let's take that one. That one. All right. That one. Okay, one more, please. This one. Okay. Let's see what the cards hold here. Okay. Yeah. All right, lovers, the hermit. So we have two major arcana right here. So uh, November is going to be a big month for you. Uh, this is really about, um, wow. We have the two of pentacles, the knight of wands, and the four of pentacles. So, Wow, there's going to be a realization in, in one of your connections. This could be with love, romantic love with the lovers. This could be with a child. This, this could be with a friend. But there is a realization from them that's going to give you clarity. It's going to help you feel this Knight of Wands energy here. Um, the, Lord of, the Lord of Flame and Lightning. It's as if this other person... Um, because you're healing through partnership, okay? You're healing your um, your karmic issues within through partnership. And this person uh, is going to really speak to you with the hermit card here on a deep level. There's going to be healing that happens. And, and you know, it's not going to be like, oh, I heal you. It's not going to be like that. It's going to be a healing that happens just from interaction with this person. Uh, there's a clarity about who you are. And um, you're going to be willing to uh, really come forward, Libra, with the truth of you. And that's very powerful. Libras have a tendency to hold back who they really are because they're very busy worrying about the people in, in, the, in their lives, like their family, their friends, their partner, their kids, whoever. They're really into um, like making sure everybody's happy, nurtured. And a lot of times Libra's left kind of out in the cold a little bit. They, they feel a little disconnected from self. And this person, um, these messages even, it could just be messages from someone. It could, it could be intuitive hits with this hermit card. Uh, it's going to allow you to realize your value and that you coming more forward with who you are is going to bring you nothing but wonderful change. That's going to bring in, we have Lord of Earthly Power here. So you're going to find the root of your power and be able to project it into the world. And you're going to realize how much you help others and how much helping others helps you. It's a beautiful flow of healing that's going to help bring in, um, for some of you with the lover's card, love, right? 
for those of you with someone, you're going to be even more assured that this is your person. Okay. You're going to feel more rooted because of the energetic, um, the energy being exchanged between you two is really going to help you realize some fundamental things about yourself that you, it may scare you a little bit. Um, when we really have to face the truth of ourselves and a lot of people always think that's a bad thing, you know, um, but the truth is a lot of people walking around in the world, uh, and they really don't know who they are. They don't know how they appear. They don't know how they present. And this person helps give you clarity. And I think a lot of you may fear that, um, how people really see you. Like it's very hard to face the reality of how people see you. Uh, but once you're able to do that, good things will come forward for you. Um, this realization is extremely powerful and it's connected to your abundance. All right. As you become more self-aware and more respectful and compassionate towards yourself and you allow other people to give you, um, really positive thoughts and energy, you're going to emerge. You're going to flower. You're going to bust forth, um, with incredible, uh, uh, what am I hearing? Incredible like vessels of energy. Your vessel, your body is going to be able to be really healed and cleansed through this. This is an extremely healing interaction. Libra heals through relationships. Okay. Um, Libra heals through uh, gaining harmony. Okay. And for a Libra, a relationship really helps them uh, focus uh, on peace. A peaceful relationship feeds them in ways that uh, doesn't really, uh, may not resonate with everyone, but a peaceful relationship isn't like an activation for a Libra. Joy. There's a lot of joy coming through. Let's talk more about the realization. How can we, what can we do to help usher this in easier and with more clarity? What do we need to do? one of these okay i am aries energy interesting Li libra uh you know aries is the divine counterpart to libra and uh you're very opposite you're opposite will be a zodiacs but opposites attract so there may be an aries energy around you that you need to listen to it could be aries uh sun moon rising or venus expansion yes there, there's a need here to expand your ideas of self, okay? Uh, I, I think there is something about you that others don't know, <laughs> and um, they're going to be able to see it come forward. And it's something very like magical, very spiritual. Uh, and this person, this, this Aries energy that's around you is a catalyst, right? It's going to help you with your drive. Um, this realization will help you with your drive. It's going to help you get where you need to be, Libra. Relaxation. Okay, so this is advice. Uh, with this tremendous energy coming forward, it's very important that you, uh, you rest. And not only do you rest, but you relieve the tension in your body. You relieve the tension in your mind. It's very important that the body, the vessel, be at peace. Okay? And so find positive ways to relax and uh, enjoy your life, Libra, slow down and enjoy what's coming towards you. Because there's a lot with this Aries energy, I feel a huge activation with this self-realization um, and a need with the Four of Pentacles to really rest and expand your ideas of what brings you peace, okay? Uh, expand your ideas of what you can do to get you in a relaxed state. Because in the relaxed state, um, I'm feeling very strongly that the universe wants you to visualize in a relaxed state. They want you to uh, connect with the flow of the universe and really visualize the life and the goals that you have before you and how you want them to manifest. Things never manifest exactly how you want them to. But if you can align with the highest vision of that, you can carry that forward. So relax in November. Take some time. Enjoy Thanksgiving with your family if you celebrate it or whatever holidays you celebrate. Um, and just enjoy your life. It's going to be a challenge 
because of this Aries energy here. You're going to feel very activated. So it's a real call with the Two of Pentacles to balance out your energy. And you're good at that. You're really good at that. Your balance is through your, your connections with people, though. So, you know, spending time talking to people, um, spending time in other people's energy, doing positive things will really help you um, bring forward this abundance that is coming towards you. It's a very big energy Libra. All right, that's what I got for you guys for November. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And um, I will see you next time. Bye.